Hello everybody and thank you for watching once again today. We're out on the trap line and I think we caught another cat. I'm not sure if it's a female or a male, but it does look like a female, but I think we're gonna be keeping this cat anyway, so it just looked like a good sized cat and I'm really excited right now. So this is our fifth cat of the year. It's been a pretty slow year, but I'm still thankful for these cats and I got him out. We're gonna go check his belly, see if he's a good cat, and we'll see you then. With uh, confirmed that we're gonna keep this cat. I'm not sure if it's a male or female, but it's a good sized cat and he's making little ruckus here, so I wanna keep this cat. That just scared me. Never been scared really by a cat before, but I'm scared this time. So excited. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and get him dispatched and I'll see you then. Cat dispatched. This is the day after Christmas and I'm really happy for this cat. It's a pretty thick cat and it doesn't have it doesn't look like an awesome belly, but I think it's just mostly dirt that's covering this one, so gonna be another good cat, I think. So really happy for it. Another big tom. I didn't think it was a tom, but it is a tom for sure, and I'm really happy for it. We're going to go ahead and get the set remade, and I'll see you then. So guys, right here, if you want to know what cat scat looks like, that is what it looks like right there. Whole bunch of fresh cat. This is what you can expect in you trapping in a rural or a suburban area. That's where I like where I'm trapping. You catch a lot of cats, but you can also catch some people's pets or just stray. This is a stray dog. Doesn't have a collar on it, but we're just going to let him go. I'm kind of scared because I don't want to get bit or something, but I think we'll just let him go and we'll go from there. So guys, we're back on the trap line again. So I've caught, this is my second skunk hunt this season. I'm going to keep this one, last one I let go, but pretty nice. Just a little skunk. He's a good sized skunk actually, but his tail looks so weird because they don't have a whole bunch of fur on their tails out here in the desert. So you can see it's um, the actual tail itself. So this guy's actually kind of a feisty one for what I have usually get. They're usually docile, especially at this time, but we're gonna take him, uh, shoot him, and then hopefully he'll have, still have some essence in him. And hopefully we'll be able to harvest it and harvest his fur. But we'll get this all done and we'll see you then. I'm sorry that I didn't get to show you that skunk after he was dispatched, but I put him in the freezer right now because he had a lot of fleas on him and I hopefully the freezer will kill his fleas and he also really stunk, so hopefully that some of that smell will go away before I get to skin him. So anyway, I decided I'd show you, take this little bit of time that I have right here and show you what, what's happening in the first shed. Maybe we'll get some schools uh, cleaned because I got a whole bunch of schools, coyote schools, fox schools, bobcat schools, and skunk schools all in the freezer and they need to be done. So probably gonna do a few time lapses today and I'll show you how I do this but right now I'm just gonna show you what I have in the first shed so you guys stay tuned so we have right here the coyote I caught this one um, I think two months ago and that was a pretty cool video if you want to go check it out it's pretty cool link will be down in the description below and we got a skunk right there and then we have another bobcat and then we have another bobcat this one right here I'll show you this is a female probably shouldn't have taken this cat you can see the yellow look on their bellies that's females and that's a milk stain belly. They're really virtually worthless, basically worthless. Just because they're so, you know, yellow in there, it's not really worth ke keeping. So probably I'll use the borax and see what can be done with that cat. Uh, hopefully it's most of it's dirt, but I doubt it is. So that cat we might be just keeping here. This cat here, I really like him. It's a pretty good desert cat. Could have a little bit wider belly, but there's it's still a nice looking cat. And then we got another cat here, this one. I need a borax this one because it's really dirty, but this one's still drying right now, so my borax it hopefully it'll look a little bit better. And then we got a few cats on the strut on the hanger right here. So yeah, I really like these cats. This cat I caught this year, and he doesn't have a size tag yet, but these three cats I caught um, this earlier on this year, so they have their sighties tags already on them. Uh, so that's kind of what things are looking like in the first shed. I got two more coyotes and a fox still in the uh, in the freezer here, so we'll be doing those shortly. But probably today we're going to be doing some skulls, so you guys stay tuned and we'll get it done.
Guys, that was today's video. If you enjoyed it, please go ahead and like and subscribe. And whether or not you do that, I hope we'll see you on the next one.